This video is basically for those students who don't know how to submit their homework activity or assignments privately through Google Classroom. A simple example here. This is class 6 computer studies. In this class, some assignments are posted. Homework activity set 1 and then summer vacation worksheet 1. So here, some of the students have solved summer vacation worksheet 1 and they have posted like this. But this is not the proper way to post. In this way, if a particular student posts his or her homework activity or assignment, then that assignment, that solved assignment or homework activity can be viewed by other students who are enrolled in the class. For a student, the homework activity or assignments or the answer scripts must be kept private. That means they should be submitted privately to the teacher. That's why this is not the proper way to submit the assignment. So how to do it? Let's see it. At first, you need to click the picture of your homework activity. Suppose this is my homework activity. So at this moment, I am a student now. So the picture is snapped. Now after snapping that picture, you need to share this. So you have to click on this share option. In some mobiles, you may get the option send. Now you have to search for the classroom icon. See that this is the classroom icon. So I have clicked here. So whenever you will click on that classroom icon, a page will appear like this. Now in this page, at first you need to look at the bottom of your screen that which email ID is getting displayed here. As you can see right now, I am telling you that I am a student. So this is not my email ID. So I have to select my email ID through which I am enrolled to some classes. So I will select my email ID by the by clicking the right arrow. As you can see just before the email ID a right arrow is there. So I will click that. So right arrow is clicked as a result a list of email IDs which are added to my Google account is showing now. So I will add my student email ID here. Okay, so my student email ID is selected. Now after that, you need to choose that you are submitting the homework activity or assignment of which class. Right now by default, it is showing class 6 computer studies. So if you want to submit assignment to class 6 computer studies, then fine. If you want to assign your homework to other classes, then you have to click on the right arrow just after the class that is class 6 mathematics, then class 6 science, class 6 computer studies, class 6 English literature. So these are the classes listed. Okay. So if you want to select class 6 mathematics, then like this. If you want to select class 6 science, then like this. And now suppose I want to submit my homework to class 6 computer studies. So obviously I will select this. After selecting this, that means two things we have selected here. First one is the email ID. If your email ID is already getting displayed, so no need to change. Okay. And then you need to select the particular class of which you are submitting your homework activity or assignment. After that, just below the class, you can see there are two options. 
one is attached to assignment and another one is new post if you click on new post then your submission will be public your submission will not be private so that's why don't click on don't tap on new post so what you need to do you need to tap on attach to assignment okay so i will click on attach to assignment as you can see, whenever I clicked attached to assignment, two assignments appear here. One is summer vacation worksheet one and homework activity set two. Whatever the assignment is given at first, that will be displayed at the bottom. And the newest assignment will be placed at the top. So homework activity set two, that is your previous assignment and summer vacation worksheet one, that is the newest assignment. So obviously you will be our uh, of the assignment you are submitting okay so I will click on summer vacation worksheet 1 suppose I want to submit there so summer vacation worksheet 1 I will click so whenever I click summer vacation worksheet 1 as a result as you can see this message is coming could not attach assign assignment so you need to go back again and you need to click again attach to assignment and then again summer vacation worksheet 1 now it is loading that means your file is getting uploaded so we will wait for a minute yeah now your uploading is completed how to see it as you can see here it is written your walk and then an, uh, then an up arrow is showing here so we will click on that as you can see the image is displayed here okay your work is uploaded now till now it is not submitted your work is uploaded here so you need to click on this hand in option okay so i will click on this hand in option then you are getting on message here one attachment will be submitted for summer vacation worksheet one okay then click on hand in yeah as you can see you are getting the message walk submitted and here unsubmit option is there okay so your homework is submitted now if you want to add any private comment to your teacher then you can write their comment so you can write the comment worksheet one is solved and submitted suppose this is the comment this is an optional comment okay you can give it and after that you can click on this this option so this comment is posted as you can see student account is the student name and worksheet one is solved and submitted so this comment can be seen only by the respective teacher okay now you can go back and your task is completed. So this is the way you should submit your homework activity or assignment or even answer script through Google Classroom privately. Okay, so thanks for watching.